Hey there, and we're back. I feel like this is a bit of a documentary vlog as we go. Um, I want to talk today about change. I took a pause from the videos just to prepare for this week. Um, we transitioned, the biggest change I would say in our household is transitioning back from the distance learning into the classroom. That was a personal choice. We decided that's best not only for the kids to have better routine and structure, to have that educational like guidance, high five and all the love in the world to the teachers and the blessings of and grace for their freaking patience. Oh my Lord. I'd be, I know why I didn't get into the profession of teaching. <laughs> not just that. I have patience if I'm not also trying to run a business, right? Run a household, educate the kids, have the business. I'm sure there's many parents and especially moms out there who are juggling it all. Um, even when you do have a spouse or if you are a single parent, it's a lot. Um, so we're excited to be transitioned officially back. Today's the first day of no interruptions, peace and quiet. I almost don't know what to do with myself besides look at my priority list. Um, I'm just taking it in. I got my, my candle going. So change can be a lot of things if you're in transition, unemployed, transitioning and trying to figure out your next step in your career. But in our household this week, the change is all about the kids getting back to being kids. Yes, they're wearing masks. We're trying to make the best of it um, and keep the kids safe. I know our kids, anyone that's a parent wants to keep their kids as safe as possible, but we also have to keep in mind what's best for their education as well as socializing and so forth. I know our kids were getting a little stir crazy, especially our six year old who needed a lot more support, you know, transitioning through Zoom classes, getting different activities up. We were cutting out letters, numbers and all kinds of stuff. Her, thankfully their teachers are fantastic, but it was definitely paying a toll on my husband and I when it comes to <laughs> just keeping up with everything and also providing. Um, and doing doing great work so we are super jazzed super pumped would love to hear how you are all surviving out there and what your situation looks like but yeah change i've learned throughout the years that i do well with change and i embrace change because it gives you the blank canvas to try new things to recreate your schedule and routine to decide what's working and toss out what's not working so really like recalibrating so i'd encourage you to also Look at your situation, whether it's distance learning or you're in transition or starting a new business or whatever that might look like for, for your situation and try and find, you know, what's working, what might need to be altered or changed and ask for help. I think that's a huge piece of this whole change situation is ask for help, seek your resources and guidance and ask others what's working for them and kind of figure out what's going to work best for your family in your situation. So that's all I've got on, on the topic of change for the moment. Um, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.